Hello, YouTube. How's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you are returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message to say the least for you guys for, oh, where are we at? Thursday. Thursday, right? Thursday. Thank you. Yeah. Thursday, October 10th. So with that, let's get started. Oh. Okay. So the oracle card you guys got to start off your reading says this, life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and that purpose will serve you. I think this is really beautiful. You know, I think all of us go through life kind of in like this zombie feeling where it's like we get so accustomed to like doing the things that we think we're supposed to do you know we're supposed to go through life not feeling you know we get involved in these relationships where we know that these people aren't for us but we stay because we don't want to be alone we also go through life like i just i feel this is this is a message for somebody because it's coming up so clear and then it has been coming up really clear all day to me, but just reading that right now, we all go through life thinking that we have to be perfect, thinking that everything has to be exactly as it should be. And it just, it comes to this point where it's like, you try to be perfect when it comes to your job. You try to be a perfect mom or a perfect dad. You try to be a perfect spouse. You try to be a perfect mom or brother, or sister, aunt, uncle, whatever the situation is, guys. You know, and you come to this place in your life where you start realizing that there's no such thing as being a perfect person. There's no such thing as, you know, this is so tough tonight. Um, the, the energy that's coming through, it's just so freaking strong and it's been strong all day, strong, strong, strong all day. But I just feel like we, we go through life sleepwalking, you know, we think that happiness comes from other people, but what we forget is that happiness comes from ourselves, you know? And if you're in a relationship just to, I don't want to say if you're in a relationship to just be happy, but you know, if the only reason you are happy right now in your life is because you have someone, then you have to reevaluate, are you even really happy? Because happiness can't be found in other people. Happiness has to be found within yourself. You know, you can't expect someone else to love you if you don't love yourself. And I feel like I'm struggling because someone needs to hear this, but it's a very touchy feeling. Like, I feel like someone is like, I, I want to say crying, but I feel like someone is really upset. Um, you are put on earth to love other people. But you are put on earth to love yourself, to find your purpose. <coughs> but there comes a point where you get to this place where it's like you feel like you go through all of these lessons. And you feel like you go through all of these karmic cycles and you feel like you're just repeating the same cycles. And it's like you don't understand. So I feel like someone's going through something and they don't understand. And I feel like that is why I'm having a really hard time trying to get out what I feel. Because I, I, I hear it, I feel it, but it's not coming out. So it's like someone, someone that's watching me or watching this video needs to speak their truth. They need to get out how they feel. Because if you're not getting out how you feel, how do you know it's never going to happen? How do you know that this other person's, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just throwing this out there. I think it has to do with someone else. But it's like, if you do not express how you feel, 
If you don't tell this person how you feel, then how do you expect to move forward in life? You know, maybe this other person doesn't reciprocate how you feel. But then you know, and you can move on. That's weird energy, but okay. So this life purpose card says this. This card comes as a reminder that you need struggle to find your life purpose. Don't worry about how to make good money and a meaningful career. Don't concern yourself with quitting or starting jobs or professions. Instead, follow the path of your natural desire, talents, and passions with the full intention of bringing joy to yourself and others. Exactly. You know, a lot of us are out here just trying to make everyone else happy. A lot of us that are here trying to make our jobs happier, relationships happier, children happier, families happy. And it's like, who's making you happy? Who's taking your view? Your life purpose doesn't need to be defined or pinpointed. It's a process, not a category. Give all worries about money or career to God and the angels. You're on the right path towards your life purpose. Focus on one step at a time with respect to your life purpose and release fears about the future to the angels. What you're doing right now is part of your life purpose. So what are you passionate about? Because I feel like for somebody, it's like you started something, you were passionate about something, you were growing something, and it's like something happened and it knocked you down. I think that's why I'm feeling so dragged during this reading is because I feel like someone was so passionate about something. I don't know if this is a, a future job or a situ. I don't know. It's not a situation. It's like a project or a future job. And it's like something else in your life happened and you walked away from that passion. You walked away from what you really wanted. And spirits coming through and saying, you know what? You've got to do what makes you happy. You know, not what everyone else wants. You need to look within yourself and ask yourself, what do you want? Because it's time. It's time. We often wonder, guys, why we get stuck in situations. You know, Amy, why do I get stuck in toxic situations? Amy, why do I, you know, keep learning the same lessons? Amy, why do I put myself in, you know, situations when it comes to people who have addictions? You know, why do I lower my worth? Why do I lower, lower my value? Why do I... Why do I put up with this, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've done a lot of stuff that I sit back now and I'm like, well, why did I put up with that, right? No one knows. But all I know is that when you are in this Eight of Swords energy, it's not a nice feeling to be in. When you feel stuck to a person, when you feel tied to a person, when you feel like you have no other way out, when you feel like you've hit rock bottom, when you feel like you've lost a part of yourself, you've got to ask yourself, what is this situation? What is this relationship? What is this marriage bringing you? You know, and you, and you can sit there and say, well, I'm staying with this person because I have kids with them. I have kids with people and I chose to walk out of those relationships because I knew that they weren't for me. And I knew staying in those relationships were not only going to hurt me and my, my ex-partners, but they were going to hurt my kids. And I think that when we get so invested in someone and we have all of our emotions in that, it's hard to walk away. It really is. And I get that. I totally get that. But this feeling that I'm feeling right now coming through to this reading, this energy that I'm picking up is so strong. It's to the point that I'm really having a hard time trying to get out what I'm feeling because I don't want to come across as being, you know, hated. I don't even know if hated is the word, but you know, you get to that point where it's just enough is enough. And I feel like you feel trapped. Whoever this reading is for today, you feel trapped. You feel like you have no way out of a situation. You have no voice. You have no say. You are stuck. You are completely trapped. You're like, you, you just don't see another way out. That's what I keep hearing. This person has done a number on you. Ten of Swords. You feel isolated. You feel alone. You feel broken. You feel like, who are you? And I actually was picking up this energy in my journal earlier. 
about, um, I kept hearing, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Everywhere that I went today. And you know, the last six months that I've been on my own single journey, I've often had to question that during my, like for myself, you know, because I've been through a whole bunch of different scenarios and I never realized how hurt I was until I took that step back and reevaluated my situations until I said no more. And I took my power back. But for some of you, you're in this place right now where it's like, guys, I'm recording. But it, it's being in this place where it, it feels like this person has you trapped. It's like they're using mental words or they're trapping you with their words. They're trapping you with your emotions. You're dealing with a narcissist. You're dealing with someone who's toxic. And the thing is, when you're dealing with that energy, it, it sucks the life out of you because you you literally feel like you have no way out. Some of you are literally laying up at night. And you're like in your head and you're like, how do I, how do I escape this? How do I get away from this? How do I, how do I, I don't know. Like, how do I leave? How do I walk away? You know, I hear fears. I hear doubts. I hear unsafe. You're worried. I don't want to say that you're scared for your life because I don't feel like that, but I feel like it's just, I don't want to be here anymore. This isn't me. No. And I can so relate to this because this was me six months ago. You know, when you're dealing with someone who has an addiction and, and they don't want to change and they don't see anything wrong with them and you, you stay because you love them, you stay because you think you can change them and you realize you can't change someone who does not want to be changed. And, you know, it only took me six years to realize that, but I'm going to cry. But it, I, I feel for you guys, it's just this emotion, this power that's coming through right now. It's it's insane. Because now I can see it from a different perspective. I can see it from I was brave enough to take myself out of that situation, even though I stayed for six years. But for some of you, it's like you don't see that light yet. And it's like, what is it going to take for you to see that this person that you're involving yourself with, this person that you're staying with, this person is not for you. Whoever needs to hear this, this person is not for you. This is mental abuse. I don't think it's physical because I don't see any cards up here that would indicate that, but it's definitely mental abuse. And I don't know why it's coming through today for your daily, but it is. So I'm going with it because clearly someone needs to hear it. It's time to move on. It's time to take what you have and go. Are you going to be scared? Yes. Are you going to be, uns are you going to feel uncertain? Are you going to feel unsure? Are you going to have doubts? Yes. But you know, what's going to come from that. Blessings. Abundance. When you let go of this person, and you will know who I'm, I am talking to those who know, who are going through a situation like this. You will know who this person is that you need to let go because it's going to be the first person that comes to mind. Once you let go of that person and you get yourself to a place where you say, you know what? I got to get away from you. You're, you're sucking the life out of me. I, I don't even know who I am anymore. That's an issue. That's a problem. And until you come to the conclusion that you deserve more, you will stay in that energy until you learn that lesson. But for some of you, you're getting in the damn boat. You've had enough. You've had enough. And some of you are already past this. But this is blessings. This is abundance. This is fulfillment. This is everything that you've ever wanted coming towards you. And there's someone around you. Right now with this King of Swords. This person wants to make you an offer. But I feel like this person is on the sidelines right now. And they see you going through something. And they're like, she's so amazing. Or he's so amazing. He's so great. Or she's so great. She's got it all together. She's so strong. But I'm afraid. Because I don't know how to add to that. 
So it's like they're intrigued by you, but they're also intimidated by you. So I feel like right now there is no communication from this person, but they will come through. I feel like this is divinely spirited. Whatever this is, this is divinely spirited. And by that, I mean, like, it's like literally the universe pushing two people together at the right moment, at the right time. So I don't feel like you're going to see this coming, but you need to take the lessons and you need to go. You need to turn a chapter and you need to start a new one. You know, you need to do it for you. You know, I can tell you to leave. Your mom can tell you to leave. Your best friend can tell you to leave. But until you are ready, until you say, you know what? I don't deserve this anymore. I deserve someone who's going to love me, who's going to be there for me. You will continue to stay in that energy. Like I said, I have I've had my fair share of things, but I've come to realize that it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of bravery to step out into this world alone. Especially when you're so used to people and relationships. But you've guys got family. I see family up here. A lot, a lot of family cards. So four of wands also talks about a ceremony. So you guys could even be going to a ceremony that maybe within this week, weekend. Maybe it's a birthday. Maybe it's some type of family gathering. But I feel like you need to feel the love and support right now from your friends, from your family. You need to reach out to people. You need to talk. The worst thing you can do right now is to shut down. Once you realize your worth, once you realize your value, once you realize that I'm so much better off without you, life will happen in so many more positive ways. Because I've said this before in a lot of my dailies and a lot of my monthlies when I do the zodiac signs is that what you will call out to the universe is exactly what you're going to get back. So a lot of you are like, Amy, like I've been trying, but I can't get out of these karmic cycles. I can't get rid of this ex because it keeps coming back around. He keeps coming back around because you let him come back around. You're not learning the lessons you need to learn. So spirit's going to keep bringing this person back around until you say, you know what? I forgive you. And I forgive myself for allowing you to do what you did. But you no longer have a right to be in my life. Unless you have kids with him, then that's a little harder. But for some of you, it's just detaching yourself from these people and saying, you know what? Let the universe bring you the right person. Because the people that you guys have in your environment right now, whoever this reading is for, they are not for you. And the faster you learn that, the happier you're going to be. But everyone learns at their own pace. All right. But their celebration. There's opportunities coming. All right. Tons and tons of opportunities I see up here. There's blessings and abundance, like I just said. Some of you are dealing with someone who's pregnant or you are pregnant or you will be pregnant for the girls. <laughs> um, but this Empress card, this is just bringing me that warmth feeling that, you know what, once you get away from that, it, it's, it's endless. I feel like once you let go and once you close those chapters, no, this could be more than one person for a lot of you. This doesn't have to be just one person that this reading targets. But you got to bring that power back into your life. You got to say to yourself with that ace of wands, you know what? I deserve happiness. I deserve abundance. I deserve new opportunities. I deserve to be loved the way that I've been giving other people love. Once you reframe how you've been thinking, once you get away from what you need to get away from, the rest is history. The rest will happen on its own. All right. So I didn't even realize what time I was at because I got so many emotionally involved. Hot flashes or something. Oh. No, I just, I feel you guys. And I, I've been down this road and, you know, I guess because I decided to, you know, just trust in God and go on the God journey and, you know, just be there for myself these past six months, I've come to learn that. I was so stuck. I was so sheltered. I felt like I needed these people to, you know, keep me going. I felt like I needed these people to keep holding me up. And what I come to realize is that all I ever needed was myself. And, you know, that's a tough bargain. Especially when you're, you know, trying to hold the house, house down and take care of everything. And it's like, how do you manage? But 
So I feel for you guys. I really do. But, so I'm dying. Alright. Pretty much done. <laughs> okay, so animal bond is what we got for your oracle card. So it says, stand up for all animals. So I got this yesterday for you guys, I believe. For someone I got it. You have a special relationship with animals. The world needs you to stand up and have a voice for all animals on the planet. Help protect the wildlife and rescue animals when you can. Give a donation or get involved online. Volunteering your spare time to animal shelters would be greatly rewarding. This may be just the time for you to save a cat or dog from the shelter and give it to a loving home. So, I know it doesn't really... I, yeah, I think we had this one yesterday, too. I know it doesn't really resonate with the reading, but I feel like why it's coming through is that you could just be in this place where you know what they say when you're down and out and you're depressed being around animals really helps you lift up maybe that's why it's coming through maybe some of you just need to you know be around an animal right now lift up your spirits a bit but all right so i'm gonna leave it there hopefully it makes sense to you guys hopefully it resonates you guys like me know let me know um i'm sending you guys all love and light for thursday and i will see you guys tomorrow you guys take care of yourselves